Hey there, friends. Thank you for coming and being with me today. I have my Bible where every word is true. That's right. And we are in a brand new month. We're going to talk about how Jesus wants to be my friend forever. And in April, the verse that we're going to hide in our hearts every week, we're going to practice it. Jesus spoke these words in Matthew chapter 28, um, verse 20, the very last verse of Matthew. And it goes like this. And I'm going to point up because Jesus is saying it. I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. 20. God is with us always. And that is such a special truth to hold on to no matter what we're going through in our life. Our story today is from Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 through 33. It's a fabulous story. And before we do that, I want to do a little experiment with you. So I have this glass of water here. It's just regular water. And we're gonna play, will it float or will it sink? Float means it'll stay up on top of the water and sink means it'll fall down to the bottom. Now I have two things to try. So first, I have a piece of chocolate all wrapped up in foil. Now this is a yummy one. This one's dark chocolate with nuts. It's a favorite. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna float on top or do you think it's gonna sink down to the bottom? Okay, make your guess. One, two, three. <gasps> did you guess sink down to the bottom? If you did, that's what it did. Okay, my second thing is an egg. This is a little Easter egg that I made and it's hollow. I blew out the middle, so it's really light. All right, what do you think? Is it gonna float on top or is it gonna sink down to the bottom? What do you think? Make your guess. All right, ready? One, two, three. Well, how about that? A hollow egg floats and a piece of chocolate sinks. All right, keep that in your smart brains. Let's go back to our story. So Jesus had been teaching all day. He taught the 5,000 people on the, on the hill and he was, he was pretty tired and his disciples were pretty tired too. But he told them to get in the boat and go across the Sea of Galilee and he'd meet them later. And he went up on a mountain and he was praying. And while he, he was on the mountain by himself, away from the others to be quiet. A great storm rose up on the, on, the, on the Sea of Galilee and the disciples in the boat could feel the wind whipping and the waves were crashing and they were a little bit frightened. Well, Jesus saw that, so he wanted to go to them to make sure that they knew that he was always with them. And he started out and he was walking on the water. Can you walk on water? Huh. Well, he was walking on the water and see how dark he looked? They didn't know who this was. And they were like, oh, is that, what is that? Is it a ghost? What, what could that be? Who is that? And then Peter, Peter saw, and he's like, hey guys, it's Jesus. Jesus is there. Isn't that amazing? He's walking on water. And Jesus said, Come on. And Peter got out of the boat and he had his eyes on Jesus and he walked on the water to Jesus. He kept his eyes on Jesus and he walked on the water. Have you ever walked on top of water? I sink like the chocolate when I'm on water. Peter kept his eyes on Jesus and he was walking on water. 
But then he got scared and he started looking at the wind and, the, and hearing the wind and the waves. And he got scared and he looked around and he took his eyes off of Jesus, his friend, and he started to sink. But it was okay because Jesus reached out his hand and he grabbed him and he saved Peter. And then they went back and they got in the boat. Jesus loved Peter so much. He was there with him. And when we keep our eyes on the truth of Jesus and his love for us, if we remember in our hearts that Jesus always is with us, he will always be with us and help us. He is so good. I'm so glad that you were able to join me today. Let's thank God for his goodness to us and for this amazing story of Jesus walking on water. Dear God, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to be our friend forever and ever. Thank you that Jesus has the power to always be with us. I pray that every person who hears this will choose to believe that Jesus is your son and follow him. Lord, we know that we love you because you first loved us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you, friends. You have a great day. And remember, Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Bye-bye.